An entirely new project can be created through the Project Wizard found under the File tab here. By selecting New Project Wizard, you bring up a window that contains all of the basic information needed to start a new project. The first field is a drop-down menu that allows you to select from available field names. The next step is to name your project. After that, you want to select a safety rule set. A safety rule set is a translation table that translates your separation factor into a criticality of 1 through 4 or more commonly 1 through 5. If you don't know which safety rule set you're using, just leave this default. Your linear units and geodetic units are important to get correct before adding surveys and offsets to your new project. North reference is also vitally important to get selected correctly before you add surveys and offsets to your project. Elevation and RKB or rig floor height here can be changed at the individual curve level. However, you may want to set defaults here. Step three is job information where you would add all of your header information here. The header information shows up at the top of your reports and the top of your quick plots. When you're done entering this information, just hit OK. The fourth step is your geodetics information. This is your surface location. If you do not have surface location, you can work with local grid only by going to the group drop down selector and selecting none. Otherwise, you're going to need to select the correct map group and if you're drilling in the U.S., your state and county. If you're in the U.S. and you have a state and county, select the state and county and then click set. The program will automatically choose your system and datum for you. If you're outside of the U.S., you will need to manually select your system and datum from the drop-down menus. After that, you can input your surface location by northings and eastings, by lats and longs, and in certain states, by township range section data. Once you're done here, you can click Save and Exit. Once you've entered your surface location, you can hit OK and the project is created. To open the project, click on the plus sign next to it, and remember that you can add as many structure slash pads or slot slash wellheads as you want by right clicking on the data form just above it and selecting the add new option. The first thing I'm going to want to do on a new project is rename these objects. So to rename this pad I would right click on it and then select edit platform pad. I can type in the name here and make sure that the elevation is correct and then hit save. Likewise, with this wellhead, I can right click on it and select Edit Slot Wellhead and give it a new name and also double check the elevation and RKB. It is important at the slot wellhead level to get the location correct. You can enter the location by local grid, northings and eastings, or lats and longs. When I'm done editing the slot slash wellhead, I hit OK. If I want to add a curve to this wellhead, I would right click and select Add New Well Path. The most important parts of adding a new curve are its name and its curve type. There are two kinds of curves in Hawkeye, proposal and work curves. This can always be changed later on. 